Good morning, parents and friends and whoever else gets a kick out of watching this blog. Watching this blog, yeah, that, that's that's how this works. Words are hard. Anyway, um, yes, good morning from Italy. It's, uh, I checked my watch, but it's in the hand I'm holding the camera with right now. Uh, it's probably about, I don't know, 10.45, 11 o'clock here in Italy. Um, and I'm somewhere that you haven't seen before. Hopefully you can actually see me. I have no idea if the sun behind me is washing me out at all. Uh, but I'm walking down a lonely little road here. You can hear church bells behind me. It's probably from the church right next to the train station that's about a half mile back. And we are going up there. You can't actually tell what that is, can you? Haha, -ha, zoom. Can you tell what that is? I don't know, maybe you can't. If you can't, you can check the pictures I'm going to post along with this. Because that is the beautiful... I'm going to say ancient, because I think everything here is ancient. Uh, the beautiful city of Assisi, which we are currently walking to. Um, I've decided today, well actually I decided yesterday, uh, that I was going to go ahead and take a train out here to see the city a little bit. So I got to get up at 6.30 this morning, which was really fun, to catch an 8 o'clock train to come out here, because the train was 2 hours, 45 minutes, 3 hours, something like that. Um, and my options were an 8.02 train, or a 12 o'clock train. And if you take a 12 o'clock train and it's three hours, by the time you get here, what the heck's the point? Um, so yeah, we are currently walking. It's, I don't know, mile and a half, two miles up to the city. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna walk it. And then I'm gonna regret that decision later because I will probably hate myself for it. Um, but yeah, anyway, I got up, I came out here. The reason I decided to come out to Assisi this weekend uh, is because on Tuesday in art history, don't hit the tree with your camera, Alex. Uh, on Tuesday on Art History, we talked about Assisi, and so I figured, you know, I can go to whatever city I want. Just, you know, whatever city in the world. Um, I can go to whatever city, but I know something about Assisi now. So I figured, you know, why not go out there where I know something and see the city that we've been talking about. I'm going to go ahead and switch hands here real quick. Whoa! Much dynamic shots. Wow. Uh, because this arm is getting tired. And I feel like a bit of a prat walking down the road. The road just holding a DSLR out in front of me and talking to the camera. Uh, but there's no one else around, so I don't really care. But yeah, this is... We were out in the countryside now, and that's probably Menor. Awesome! Um, but I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. Um, let's see if we can get you a better angle of this easy here real quick, actually. Uh, if we go ahead... Yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty right there. Such gorgeousness. What is it focusing on? It's focusing on like trees or something. That's not what I'm trying to get you to focus on camera. Come on, get it together. Whatever. Ugh. But anyway, yeah, um, I realized as I was on the train journey out here, um, the reason Assisi is any importance at all um, is because St. Francis of Assisi came from here. Shocking. Um, but I realized on the train journey out here that coming out to one of the most important religious sites in the world on a Sunday, well, there's a car behind me, Let's not die. Do, do, do. Didn't think the car was going to drive down this road. It's kind of a crappy road. Um, but I realized that coming out to maybe one of the most important religious uh, sites in the world on a Sunday, maybe not the best plan I've had. But it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's crazy. The train wasn't really very full at all. Um, so I think we'll be okay. All right, so we're on a bit of a nicer road. Uh, right now. We made some progress. Uh, we ran into, I don't know if it was like a marathon or a race or something. It seemed kind of organized, but at the same time, the people weren't very fast. Um, but we're on a nicer road right now. We are closer to the city. I don't know. That's St. Francis's Church, which I'm pretty sure he never actually went to, because I think the way that it works is if you have a church named after you, then you never actually went there in your lifetime. I think that's a rule somewhere. Um, but yeah, we're going to start the climb now, and I'm going to hate myself a lot. So, hello friend car. Ah, oh nice, look at that city. Or look at that sign, rather. Let's see if I can... No, I don't know. If you can see that electronic sign, it says, Welcome to Assisi, City of Peace. Actually, it says in Italian now, sweet. Um, but anyway, whoop, that's way too close to me. Um, anyway, uh, some history lessons while I climb this hill and hate myself. Um, Assisi is not a Roman city. Uh, you can tell because the way the Romans built, if you look at their cities like Rome and Florence, uh, they built flat things because it was easier for them and that's just better cities. This is on a really awful hill uh, because I'm climbing it and already hating myself. So 
yeah, it's this, this wasn't a city that Rome originally founded. But anyway, uh, we can re listen on St. Francis, I guess, or you could Google him and get way more reliable information than I could ever try to. Uh, but St. Francis lived in the 1500s, somewhere around there. Uh, he was a rich kid, as they say, and he enjoyed the partying. Um, and then one day he had a vision from Jesus. And Jesus was like, hey dude, rebuild my church. And so he was like, all right, the church in town is kind of crumbling down, and so he started to rebuild it. And then I think Jesus showed up to again and said, no, you idiot, I meant that as a metaphor. Fix the Catholic Church. And so St. Francis took it upon himself to do so, and I'm going to stop here at this lovely little fountain. Oh, lovely. Ah, ah such beauty. Wow. Um, oh, ground's wet. Ah. But we'll put my camera over here. Hello, friends. We'll stop and talk here real quick. I wonder if that's fresh water, because I have a water bottle I'd like to fill. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, he had a vision from Jesus. It was like, yo, dude, fix my church. Um, and so he started the Franciscan Order, named after himself, naturally. Um, which basically took a vow of poverty and a vow of punishing themselves a lot. And got lots of followers, and it was a big deal in the Catholic Church. He was kind of a big deal at the time of his death, which is why Assisi is remembered and St. Francis is remembered. Because he's kind of a big deal. Do I seem out of breath? Good, I am. I'm sweating, and it's like 48 degrees out. I know that those of you back in the States don't care because it's like negative bazillion there, and it's really, really awful and terrible. Um, but yeah, we are way out here on the countryside. It's really beautiful. I want to see... Uh, can I see over this hedge? Yeah, it's not really a great view, but you can go ahead and take a look here with me real quick. It's a lovely little house right there that I'm just creeping on. Hello, friends. And there's the countryside there. I'll have some lovely shots for you from the actual town, I'm sure. Uh, you can see there the church, so if you're using that as a landmark, there it is. You're welcome. All right, hello. It is several hours later than the last time I recorded. Um, I'm in about the same place as I stopped last time, actually, which is interesting, but I'm currently walking away from Assisi because I'm going back home. Very sad. Um, the train leaves in about an hour, and it's like a mile away, so I will be fine uh, on time. Uh, first of all, as, as we approach this thing, uh, I, should, uh, I should fess up to something. Uh, when I sat down earlier to talk to you, I sat down on this fountain. Uh, this fountain is probably actually an altar of some sort because you'll notice that. So, yeah. Uh, whoops. Yeah, uh, luckily I did not attempt to drink the water because I don't know if, like, that would kill me or bless me. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, a CZ is... I feel like I'm not holding it straight. Um, have I fixed the zoom? Because I think I hecked up the zoom at the end of the last one. Uh, but yeah, a CZ is an absolutely just, just beautiful city. Like, it's, it's everything you expected from stereotypical Italy. Um, somebody, I saw somebody drive backwards in their car up a street, so that was interesting. But, you know, just everything is beautiful stone, and there's weird twisty roads and back alleys and just beautiful art. And just, it, it's everything you expect from traditional Italy, and it's what you're getting out here in the countryside, as opposed to in Florence, which is, you know, a city in and of itself. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful, just everything there is beautiful. I took pictures, which you will see down below if you're watching on the blog. If somehow you're watching this on YouTube instead, I don't know why you've made that choice, but I'll put a link down below the video, so either way, just look down and you'll find something interesting. Uh, but yeah, it's just, I took pictures where I could, because inside most of the churches, they're like, please do not take pictures, and I'm like, well, you're just no fun, aren't you? Uh, but, yeah, uh, busy road. I should not talk to the camera while I'm crossing a busy road, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Congratulations, you have recorded a video of my death. Okay. And run across. Okay, and we're back. Um, but yeah, the other thing about a CC that I just wanted to get on film is just, it's out here in the country, and it's just 
so quiet and so still. I mean, if you if you get off the main roads where there are loads of, you know, tourists and cars driving around, and if you just, you know, wander down one side, it's just, it's absolutely silent and just so peaceful. And that's, I mean, it was, it was just amazing. I just stopped and took it all in, because, I mean, you know, where else do you get that? And plus, it's up on a hill, so it has a lovely view. So just say goodbye to a CZ. Goodbye, friend. You're beautiful. Maybe I'll die. I don't know. Who knows? It is a mystery. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead. Walking down this hill is a heck of a lot easier than walking up it. Um, also, I should note, the hills do not stop when you reach the city. Uh, you continue to walk up hills for approximately forever. I read in travel guides before I came that you should start at the top of the city and work your way down, and I understand why, because then you get all of the walking out of the way at the start, and then you just go downhill and it's well nice and smooth. Um, but yeah, anyway. So I think that's about all I wanted to go ahead and get on film here. I, I say film, I don't really mean film, because who uses film anymore? Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a proper goodbye this time where the zoom isn't effed up. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking, I'm walking back the same way I came because I know that route. And I figure, you know, how lost could I possibly get? Ha 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 ha. Three hours later, oh god. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go and catch my train. So, thank you for watching. Look down below for all the pictures of the city, because I didn't take any video in the city. I just took pictures because I just felt like that was easier. Um, so yeah, check that out down, down below, down, down in the there place. And uh, yeah, much love from Italy. Uh, ciao!